right on this video here as you can see in the top left I have this Komodo antivirus um, I kind of bumped into that antivirus program by accident I was looking up some things uh, online and then I went to YouTube and I did some research on um, antivirus programs that could be used in Linux this is something just in case you don't necessarily need antivirus in Linux but I just wanted to go ahead and um, give you guys a heads up on the fact that you know anything that is actually generated by us man people uh, any line of code could actually be broken or, or um, reverse engineered to get it figured out to, to you know if, if there's people out there that want to do harm to your system but to protect yourself you could install this program here called Komodo and I'm gonna actually show you here how you could actually get that just to actually go to I'm gonna use um, the Google search here so I'm gonna say OK Google Komodo.com then click on the first link right there And then you're going to go to the uh, antivirus section over here to the left where you can see my cursor. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, my bad. <laughs> and then you see Komodo antivirus here for Linux. It's already highlighted. And then you could go ahead and do your download here. And in the process of doing the download, it um, has a a prompt on your sys what system you're using and you could actually say whether you're using Linux Mint or Debian or Ubuntu because I'm using a version of Ubuntu I went with Ubuntu and then select your 64 or 32-bit download and then go ahead and download it and when your download is complete you do your 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 install and you should be good to go um, the scanner is pretty simple the user interface is simple so I'm gonna bring it up here and show you um, the thing is is when you actually do a general scan this might call this might be annoying to some people but I'm gonna go ahead and run a scan here and while it's actually scanning down here it shows show on top and this is defaulted to be ticked you could untick it and when you actually open your browser it's not gonna be on top of whatever it is you're doing on the screen so I, I found that to be a little bit um, annoying and I can't really figure out how to get that removed as as far as a default feature I'm gonna head and go ahead and stop it here oh I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and generally what I use this software for too is um, if I have a, a family member or a friend or a client that actually want me to scan their computer or repair it uh, via viruses invading their system I actually plug their hard drive into an, in an enclosure that I have here it's a USB 3.0 enclosure um, and I go ahead and plug their hard drive in there, run a scan to scan my entire system as well as theirs. And when it does the general scan, I just plug it back into the computer, do a restart on their um, Windows machine, and boom, virus gone. Then I go into whatever hard drive settings and I delete whatever uh, resonating files are still in the system and do another quick scan with whatever antivirus they have there clean their system up good to go and uh, that's something I found that is really sweet right here and um, this it, it has not failed me yet I've found several hundred viruses and malware programs programs on one computer and I ran this as a test um, I tested it with uh, alongside um, other popular antivirus programs like um, uh, what's it called AVG or uh, Avast uh, what's the other one uh, they're, they're just as an example those two and um, I found that this antivirus program Komodo actually performs even better than those under Windows and it found 
a good 40 or 50 percent more viruses than those did so as a free program i find that this is a very good program to go with uh, it's gaining in popularity and it's 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 gaining that swiftly so i'm getting a call right now so i'm gonna go ahead and close this up right here and you know you can check out my next video if you have any questions or comments hit me up